I have an extremely exciting product in front of me here that could genuinely change the watch industry forever. So in front of me here, I've got a product by the name of Orcos. Orcos is a brand, it is a brand that's made in Switzerland. It just gives you options for the current market and the way the watch industry is at the moment with regards to thefts, robberies, and the media, and obviously give you options for going out and about. So let's get into it. So here we've got the Orcos box, what the product will come in. As you can see, it's nice premium packaging. And as you can see, it comes in two layers. So I'm just gonna take the first layer out for you guys so you can see. So you've actually got the patented Orcos clasp. You've got your two spare keys. One key's already fitted in the side. You've also got your Orcos removal tool. As you can see there, I've just opened the product now. It's a little key that goes in the side. So this is the key here. Hope you guys can see that. And obviously this is one of the spares that you've got. Let's pop that on there. And the way it works is, obviously you put this on your watch. This is your clasp, you close it click it in and that's it. If you need to open it, normally you'd have the double folding safety, so you'd actually fold it open and fold the other one open. With this one, you actually press it in like that and then it opens, simple as that. The beauty of this product is, so let's say you're out, you're out and about, you don't feel very comfortable, you don't feel very safe. What can you do to make this more secure? So with this little tool here, as you can see here, I'll just flick that open. It's got a little groove in it at the bottom there and you just pop that into the side. So I'm gonna show it this way so I can see actually what I'm doing. And then you put it in there, pull it away, and it's gone. Now this particular clasp, you cannot actually open now. This clasp is actually locked. So some of you guys out there might think, well, what happens if I've got like a, a violent robbery or I feel threatened and I can't physically do it? You can still leave this in the watch. You can still leave this in the watch. And if you exactly feel threatened, you don't have to take it out. You can still use it function day to day. As you can see there, you can actually use this. So you press that in, again, it opens and it closes like that. I've been speaking to Sebastian for the last sort of couple of months on this product and I genuinely, genuinely do believe in it. I think it's a great, great product for the current market. It's definitely something that you guys need to consider. So this particular one is in stainless steel. This has been designed for Rolex models. So with having the satin finish, as you can see there, it would be used for like the Explorers, the Submariners, these sorts of models. They do do one with a brushed finish and a polished center. That one can be used for like the GMTs, the Batmans, the Pepsis, things like that. They also do one that is a steel and gold for i.e. the Daytonas and the other models. And they also do one for a solid gold, which can be used obviously for the solid gold models. The quality of this product is exactly the same stainless steel as what you get with a Rolex. And you would not know the difference to the product design, quality and finish that you get in a Rolex watch. So let's delve into why it's a current topic. So one thing I don't like doing is publicizing obviously negative things with the market and obviously what's going on in the world. You know, there are sort of a lot of targeted crimes of people wearing expensive watches. So one thing that you guys might think is, okay, well, I'd just rather give them the watch. This is sort of the elephant in the room we need to discuss. In France, they have what they call trickery which is a bit more of a con, where they'll come along, pretend they're drunk, put their arm around you, they will give you some sort of hug, they will give you, you know, some sort of thing to disguise what they're doing, and then someone will whip the watch off your wrist and they're gone. In England, it is becoming more of a problem where people are using more sort of violent, anything to sort of threaten you and scare you into giving you them your watch. It is a product that you can choose when and when not to make it secure. So if you were you were feeling threatened, you're out, you're with your family, you, you felt your life was in danger, you can quite easily put that key in or leave the key in and you can let them have your watch. If you're in a situation where you've thought, I'm worried about driving through a certain area or just going through somewhere and it gives you that peace of mind, you can actually remove that key. You've still got the key in your pocket. If you need to remove it, you can do. If not, you don't have to. I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely believe this product right in front of me here will be put into every manufacturer over the next five to 10 years, whether it be the same system system, a revised system, or a better system. But once that is, which I genuinely believe it will, would you use it? And the answer is probably gonna be yes. I think it's we're in a transition period where people know that obviously you can literally, like, like my watch here, if you want to take off my wrist, you can use the double folding safety clasp, you can open it there, you flick it open, and you take it off my wrist, as simple as that. People know that, but if they, they knew that all the top three or four manufacturers, you know, your Rolex, your AP, your Patek, your Richard Mill, your Vacheron, you know, had this actually instilled in their clasp by the manufacturer themselves, 
you would probably feel more safe and it would actually detract from people trying to steal it from you. You know, it's only actually supplied this product in Europe and in France. Nobody in the UK has actually stocked this product. Nobody's actually selling this product. Sebastian would like us to actually stock it. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with Sebastian in any way, sponsored or paid to do this. I would happily market this on my website. Price-wise, we are looking around about, I think about a thousand pounds starting price, which some guys you might think, you know, it's quite expensive. But the more that we, as like a community and, and a network of people, the more that we can make it harder for these people, whether that be putting it into all the main brands, whether it be making sure people are aware that this product's out there in the UK, that we can actually wear it, you know, on our watch and let them know that that logo means you've no chance, go find an easier target. You know, it's generally something that you can actually get and it's a product out there and hopefully, you know, you can see the future in this product and hopefully you see the benefit of having it because I generally, generally do and I hope you guys do too. I just want to give you guys a quick update. Since we actually filmed this video, all costs have got in contact with me and they have allowed me to release the new designed clasp, safety clasp, which is the patented Super Luminova application, which does make it visible in daylight and night. And so it's got an illuminous triangle that's patented by all costs and it's actually been manufactured by the best companies in Switzerland. So it's definitely something that I think is a, a fantastic idea and going forward, it will definitely make it more recognizable on the wrist and hopefully deter the or robbers from uh, from stealing your watch.